My name is Florian Christy. I'm an independent music producer from Transylvania, Romania, not too far away from the castle of Dracula. <laughs> I'm also the father and manager of Liliac Band. My name is Nineta and I am the mother of the Liliac Band, My Treasures. And I was also born in Romania. I met uh, my husband Florian here in the United States and we got married and we got busy with the... <laughs> Hello, my name is Samuel, I'm 19 years old and I'm the lead guitarist. Hello, I am Abigail Christie, I am 18 years old and I am the drummer. Oh, I am Melody, I am 16, I am the bassist and the lead vocalist. Oh! Oh, my name is Ethan Christie and I am 11 years old and I play the rhythm guitar. My name is Justin Christie, I am 10 years old and I play the keyboard for the band. <laughs> we perform at Santa Monica Pier every weekend for the last seven years. Mondays is their hobby day. What? Taekwondo. Five, six. We're red belts and we're fighting away to get to the blackest belt. <laughs> that time of year we get to kick people's butts for a prize <laughs> that's not even made out of real gold, it's just plastic. We're a vegan family. We watched a uh, show on Netflix called What the Hell, so we, uh, the kids really wanted to go vegan. We all are vegan. Hard because like you go to a store and like you have to find the vegan options, it's kind of hard to find out like at fast food restaurants or any kind of restaurant, so yeah that's a challenge, but we love it, you know, we get through it. I'm trying to take this test so I can graduate out of school or at least so I can really work on our music. At this moment, um, we are homeschooled. Guitar is like, I write the riffs for our songs and... Come up with the grooves to his riff. Find out the bass lines through Sam's help and Abby's rhythm moving grooving stuff. And also me and my dad, we work on the melody lines for the vocals and fine, which is the greatest to put in that matches the song. We all write the lyrics. We all four of us. No, I hope sometimes. Barely. But I do. Barely. <laughs> but I do. Barely. But I do. But I do. Barely. No, you guys don't. No yeah, we I'm producing the first original album with uh, 10 original songs. And we're really excited. We can't wait till it gets released. We're going to put it on Apple Music, Spotify, and all our fans get to listen to it whenever they want. We've been waiting for a long time, and a lot of our fans and friends have been waiting for a while, so it's going to come out soon. And we're going to shoot music videos pretty soon. Ready? Yeah. Let's go. Go. If anyone leaves the band, it's I know. <laughs> for graduation. Hey, can you send me a picture of that dress? I want to see how, how, what, how cute your dress is. I don't, I don't wear the whole thing. If anybody moves out or gets married or something like that. Oh, so we done. can't get married? <laughs> oh, we can't get married? Right okay. now? No, that's no, not what I meant. No, 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 after your career set and you make enough money. Yeah. Yeah. Staying healthy is very important with us, you know, not only that we're vegan, but we also go to uh, the, gym. At the gym all together and we re really want to help our dad to lose weight like he did back then when he was an artist. We feel so alive. I got a moving feelings into my heart. And loving you is the greatest dream. So, he was like, I used to be in shape. I had a six pack. You yeah. did? I did. 
did. Bob, was it now I have, <laughs> you guys, Now I have one pack. <laughs> and Abigail is helping me, you know, training me and yeah, uh, getting yeah. shooty. Yeah, they work out, and your legs are all sore, and your abs are all sore, and your butt's all sore, <laughs> your neck's all sore, your feet are all sore, and you sweat. Yeah. Let's get going. I usually go first and move the car, open the garage, and get the, all the equipment out, and then we have to put everything in the van. And then from there we go to Santa Monica, and we have to take everything out, and then set up. And then once we're there in Santa Monica, we have to go to the lottery. Um, Saturday, Sunday, there's like about four lotteries. And there's only 24 spots, and about 40, 50 artists, performers, that wants to perform. So there's chances that you go and you're not going to get a spot. So we have to wait for the next lottery. If we don't get a spot, we wait for the next lottery. So we basically spend all day, but once we get that spot, spot 5 or 14 or a good spot, everything changes. Yeah, all that matters is that we're there, we're doing it, and we rock out and we do our best. And we get around 300 to 400 people watching us. And we make money. When you see the crowd being into it, hand banging and dancing, and you see the little kids dancing around, it's, it's like exciting. And then we step out of the stage, we're like, oh. It's exciting, you know, all that hard work, it pays <laughs> off. We get all kind of emails for the band to be in certain documentaries or film for certain projects. But a month ago, Nikki, a producer from BBC, uh, sent us an email wanting to use Liliac Band in a documentary they're making, uh, hosting Stuart Copeland from the police. When we heard that, I was so excited. Like, we were all excited. We just didn't know what to expect. We're so unexpected because he's yeah. very enthusiastic. He's all like, ah! <laughs> Yeah, he said a whole bunch of cool, funny jokes. He was a super nice guy. He signed like, my um, keyboard stand. And he signed um, and my snare. You know, like when I first thought, I thought he'd be like judgmental, like, oh yeah, you're drumming, you know, whatever. And but he was just like, oh yeah, like I thought I was a drummer until I saw this guy. Was like, this is just so funny. <laughs> as you said, man, he jammed with us. He played on the guitar. My guitar. So I got. He actually. So. Oh my god. Oh my god. And my drums. And he also jammed with us one of our original songs, which yeah. is pretty cool because he didn't know, but somehow he got it. <laughs> and he even said that he was impressed with. One of my signature moves that I usually do when I perform the pre mantis. Yeah. Like I used to do that when I was young, but now I can't. Cause it's like, <laughs> Actually, after the show, was giving some good advices to the kids. Uh, felt like was a, a mentor. And plus, he also said that you know when he secretly filmed us, he okay. was showing other bands like the Foo Fighters and, 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 and a whole bunch of things. Like, it's weird because like this big legend in a big band, the place. He's a fan of us. Yeah. And we're tiny. Uh, we're like tiny. I know, I know. We're tiny. Tiny. In September. When it's, it's gonna be aired on BBC, we get to see ourselves. He, he made a lot of like moves while performing. He was like, <laughs> and moving and jumping. This is Stuart Copeland's signature on my snare drum, and it's like all worn because I played on it, but he played on it too. This is his name, and then right here he wrote Go Abby. Go Abby! Wait, yeah. One, two, three, four, five, exclamation mark. Apart from that, keep on rocking! Thank yeah. you. Thank, Thank you for showing up. Keep on rocking!